Hey everybody, welcome to beautiful downtown Rancho Cucamonga and you're cooking with CJ. I'm your host, CJ. Uh, before we get started on anything, I want you to go down below and click that subscribe button. And since I know you're going to like this video, you might as well hit that like button too. Alright, so what we're going to be making today is real simple, real filling, and real satisfying. It is sausage and peppers with a little bit of flavored rice. Alright, so we're going to go right into starting the ingredients. Right now we got peppers, green and red. Alright, and we're going to go with some red onion. It's good flavor. I have sweet Italian sausage. You guys can use hot if you like it. I prefer sweet. I got some chicken stock for my rice. All right, we, I, you can use water if you want, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go ahead and use this chicken sock. Sorry, we got some dogs out there jumping on the on the door if you hear it, don't worry about it. All right, we got just regular rice. I'm gonna throw a little bit of butter in there too with our chicken sock, a little garlic salt, a little uh, cracked black, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do is go into chopping and prepping, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and see, let's try a little something new, a little video magic. I'm gonna go ahead and chop and we're gonna try to speed it up for you. Come back and we'll see how it works out. All right, let's go. Bring it down. All right, done. Boy, those onions are strong. I only used about half the red onion. Woo! Anyway, um, just get nice little thin strips. What I did was I julienned the peppers and the onions, so they're gonna cook up nice and even together. All right, so I'm gonna chop up these, these sausages and uh, get them in the pan once we get those peppers and onions going. So I'll come back back, all right? All right, we're uh, gonna start on the rice real quick. It takes a little bit longer than the peppers and sausage. So I want you to come take a look at this. We got the chicken stock in there already. We got the cube of butter already in there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add our rice. It's just whatever rice you know, you'd like to use. It doesn't have to be a special one. I'm gonna stir that around in there real quick. Make sure nothing sticks. Make a little bit of a mess. All right, and then we're gonna add a little cracked black to it. I don't know about you, but I like all the flavor I can get in my rice, and I don't mind having it in there from the jump. All right, and I'm gonna throw a little garlic salt in there, just ever so slightly, just a twinge. We'll do that. Let's stir this around a little bit, get all the flavors going. Like I said, this is chicken stock and butter, a little cracked black, and a little bit of uh, garlic salt. You can use whatever you want. If you just like using water in there, it's fine with me. If you don't like seeing pepper or black flakes in there, it's fine with me too. Have some fun with it, make it your own. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on over here. Get it down to a low heat. Get this bad boy on here. Turn this one off, because that's a big fire. And we're gonna cover this and let it simmer according to the directions on the package. It should be about 20 minutes, all right? We're gonna get started on the peppers and sausage pretty soon. Be right back. Okay, we're ready to start working on our peppers and uh, sausage. So I'm gonna start with our peppers and onions first. Get these going in here. Add a little cracked black to it, a little salt, and then flavor it up. And we'll get this into some hot, all, extra virgin olive oil, okay? So we'll get this going. I guess it's not that hot. I was expecting a little bit more of a sizzle, but it is what it is. It'll get there. Turn it up a little bit. Get these, go ahead and get these coated up with the oil while we're waiting for this to heat up. And I'll tell you folks, we're really cooking here. All right? Sometimes it doesn't quite work out the way you want, 
or go as smoothly as you want, but we'll get there. All right, we're gonna let these sweat down a little bit and get ready to add our sausage. We'll come right back. All right, we're back. We're about ready to add the sausage to the peppers and onions. They've been cooked pretty good, not quite all the way through. The onions are just starting to caramelize a little bit. Uh, the peppers are starting to kind of get a little loose, but they're not completely done yet. I'm gonna add my Italian sausage to it. You can definitely do two things. You can chop it up like this, or leave them whole and cook them through in there. Either way, you're gonna get the flavors in there. I just happen to want mine chunky today. You can do whatever you want. All right, so these in there. We're gonna get these cooked all the way through. Remember, you're dealing with pork here, so you wanna cook it all the way through. It's not gonna look pretty, but we're gonna get some uh, get some good caramelization on these these little chunks of pork, and uh, we'll show you the finished product when we're done. We'll see you right back. Okay, we're back. We're done with this dish. The sausage is nice and uh, crispy, uh, caramelized, I guess you say. Uh, the peppers all done. It's good to go, man. The, the rice is perfect. It's exactly how I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. Let you know how it tastes. Get a little bit of that pepper in there. Get a little bit of the rice, a little sausage. I think we got everything on there, give or take. Mm, my God. Mm. Damn, it's good. This is a simple dish, all right? This is perfect for a quick evening dinner or anything else, you know, or you wanna impress the lady, hook this up, all right? I'm gonna really finish this dish up because I know I eat what I cook. We'll come back back for dessert. All right, all right, guys. Had that great meal. We're back for some dessert, and as always, we're gonna start with a uh, my favorite dessert, a nice cigar. I got Alec Bradley Prensado, and for my pops, no whiskey this week. Pops loves his Myers rum, so I'm gonna enjoy that over some ice. Enjoy a nice cigar out and back. Uh, listen, we had a great time. Another great video. I'm getting more comfortable with this. I hope you guys are starting to enjoy it a little bit more. Uh, like and subscribe down below. And if you have any comments, put them in there. I'd love to chat with you guys. Find me on Instagram, find me on Facebook, and uh, let's just make this thing big. All right. Thank you for stopping by, and thank you for cooking with CJ. See you next week.